In this video, I wanna share with you guys three simple steps for how I went from zero to 132 products launched on Amazon in about five years. And it's simply simple steps that no one really online talks about. Now, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. My name is Bashar Ketu, and I'm the founder of BJK University, an education company with a mission to impact one million lives by providing you an alternative to traditional education. So let's go ahead and dive right in into um, you know, how I launched 132 products over the last six, seven years. Now, one thing that's very important for you to understand is that when you're starting business, any business you start, uh, a couple of things that you have to put in mind, right? You have to, th there's this thing called short-term gratification and long-term, uh, 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 you know, uh, success. Um, one thing you have to understand is it's kind of like dieting, right? And, and drinking a can of soda. If you drink a can of soda right now, it feels good. It tastes good. It gives you that, like, that instant gratification. But then if you stay disciplined and not drink soda and diet and exercise and do all that stuff, today, tomorrow, next month, you probably won't see any result. But if you do it consistently over a long period of time, you're going to reap the results six months later, 12 months later, 24 months later. Well, it's the same exact thing with business. And unfortunately, it is very unfortunate that anybody can start a business, but almost nobody can become a doctor or a lawyer or an engineer or whatever. And there are schools for those. There are certificates they have to go through those. There are exams they have to, to do that. And the unfortunate thing is that with business, I believe that there needs to be a prerequisite. There needs to be some type of a class that teaches you all these things. And that's why over 90% of all startup businesses fail before year two, right? Because no one knows what the hell they're doing and there's no one really teaching. So the very first thing before I even go into the three steps is that you need to understand business is a long-term play. Whatever it is that you're gonna get into, whether if you wanna start Amazon FBA or if you wanna start whatever else, you need to understand that this is not I'm gonna start a business today and I'm gonna start paying for my rent and quit my job in three months. This is more of, I'm going to, if you have a job and if you're trying to start this thing, I'm gonna probably start it on the side and, and spend the next six, 12, 24 months doing it and simply spending every single waking moment whenever I'm not working, I'm not sleeping, I'm not shitting, I'm not showering, I'm not eating, I'm gonna spend that extra time doing that. No Netflix, no games, no going out, nothing for the next year to two years and then hopefully by the end of the two years, it'll work. And if you don't have that self-discipline and if you don't have that power and if you don't have that willingness, then don't even do it. And I would just shut down this video and, and unsubscribe, uh, unsubscribe from my channel and go somewhere else. And don't even think about doing business because again, business is a long play. But if you are someone who, you know, who's like, no, 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 I've got what it takes. I'm disciplined. I will put in the work. I will, I'm, I'm committed and I'm gonna make it work. Then these three steps will work for you because that's what worked for me. So with selling on Amazon, three simple steps. Number one, and then you're gonna be like, wait, this is it, really? Why has no one told me about this? Find profitable products. That's number one, okay? Find profitable products. That's the first thing. Without a profitable product, you've got no business. Without product, you've got no business, right? You need to find profitable products. Now, the cool thing about Amazon is that we're not inventing brand new products. We're not creating and, and you know, creating this thing that does not exist. Over 53% of all online sales happen on Amazon, right? And that's kind of the exciting thing about it. But the thing is that all you need to do is just go to Amazon, search what is selling on Amazon, what people are going to Amazon to purchase, and then simply just sell those products. So it's not rocket science. It's simple, but it's not easy. And that's the thing that a lot of people confuse. It's that, well, it's saturated. Well, there is a lot more sellers today. Well, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, sure, there are a lot more sellers today because it's a profitable business. But do understand that there are a lot more buyers today than any other time in history. There are a lot more people buying online and shopping online than any other time in history because it's convenient, it's safe, you know, your home with a couple of clicks of a button, you know, a product arrives within 24 to 48 hours. So literally all you need to do is the very first thing is you need to find profitable products, okay? The second thing is, actually before I tell you the second thing is, can you do me a favor? There's that little button right below the, I think it's somewhere right here, it's that thumbs up button. Can you do me a favor and smash that button for me? It really helps us uh, rank in the algorithm. It'll help this channel tremendously. So do me a favor and click on that. The very second thing is, Re 
invest your profits. A lot of people are obsessed about, I want to quit my job. I want to pay rent. I want to get out of the rut that I'm in. I want to buy a house. I want to retire my parents. I want to travel. I want to do this. You could do all that, but it's not going to happen in, in month three or month six or even month 12. It'll start happening at month 18, month 24, right? But anytime before that, what you're doing is you're just sucking the blood out of your business. That does not mean your business will not be profitable until then. That means it cannot scale if you're sucking all the blood out of it. And I'm not even talking about, you know, let's only take out 10% or 12% and then let's keep the rest. Because usually on average, your products and your business should profit between 20 to 30%, right? So some people might argue, well, Bashar, I can take out 10 and then reinvest the 10. Well, look, if you're investing $100,000 when you're starting, you should be profiting about 20 grand per month. So 10 grand out, 10 grand back in, sure, that's great. But if you only got two, three, four thousand dollars $4,000, you're probably profiting $1,000, maybe $1,500 per month. So if you're going to take out half of that, what is an extra five, seven hundred dollars per month going to really do? You can't launch another product. It is going to take you at least six months to save enough money to launch another product. And that's not what I did. I wasn't able to launch 132 products in six years with taking out 10% or keeping only 700. I literally reinvested everything back in the business. And in fact, I had another business I was driving for Uber, I was washing dishes at uh, Hilton Hotels, and I was working for my brother doing delivery while I was working on my, on my Amazon business. And then little by little, I started dropping any activity that was taking a lot of my time and not producing me enough income so I can reallocate that time back into my Amazon business because I knew that was the thing that was going to keep scaling. And then I only kept the job that actually, which was working with my brother, which was, you know, the least amount of time invested, but the most amount of money, which gave me enough money to, you know, obviously pay for my life. And then, but also reinvest whatever money left I had back into the business. And then any profits that I took from the business simply kept on, uh, uh, um, you know, reinvesting and then growing the business, right? Number three. Can you guess what number three is? I'm going to give you guys five seconds. Drop in the comments. What do you think number three is? One, two, three, four, five. Drop in the comments. I'm gonna hide. I'm gonna hide the the, the 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 board. Da -da. Launch more products. One, two, three. Find profitable products. Reinvest. Launch more products. Every single one of those I have a video about. So if you're like, but Bashar, sure, this sounds so easy. How do I find products? I've got a ton of videos on this channel that talks about how to find profitable products. Number two, reinvest the money. Okay, but I don't even have money to start. I have a ton of videos that talks about how to, even if you go from completely broke, how to raise money so that you can launch your business because I started with $150,000 in debt and I was able to scale a multi seven figure business. Number three, launch more products. And then which goes to number one. As you can see, it's a cycle. This goes here, this goes here, this goes here, it goes back, and it's just a feedback loop. It's just simply a feedback loop. That's all it is. You find profitable products, you reinvest your profits in the business, you launch more products. You find more profitable products, you, you, know, you reinvest all of your profits in the business and launch your products, and this is how you can grow anything. Not just an Amazon business, but anything. But if you are like, great, I don't wanna do the legwork, I want someone to literally show me how it's done step by step, Below this video, there's a link to a short presentation that walks you through how BJK University can help you. Do, do me a favor and check that out. Spend the next 25 minutes watching that. But outside of that, I really hope that this really shed some light and, and made your life a lot simpler because I know everyone out there is trying to make things so complicated for you. It's trying to throw all these shiny words and you know uh, uh, these systems and these strategies and all this cool stuff, but really it's as simple as this. Outside of that, thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.